This is a video to explain how to complete your postal vote. When you open your postal vote, The first thing to do is separate the ballot paper from the postal vote statement using the perforated edge. Cast your vote on the ballot paper by marking a cross in the box next to your chosen candidate. Sometimes this may require more than one candidate to be chosen, so read your letter carefully. Now place your completed ballot paper inside the brown envelope marked with an A. Make sure the ballot paper number shows through the envelope window and not the candidate names. Next, you will complete your postal voting statement. Write your date of birth in the boxes provided. Please remember not to use any other date, such as the current date. Write your signature in the box provided. Do this in black ballpoint pen. Please don't use any other type of pen. Place the completed postal voting statement inside the white envelope marked with a B. Make sure the return postal address shows through the envelope window. Place the brown envelope marked with an A, which now contains your completed ballot paper, inside the white envelope marked with a B which now contains your completed postal vote statement, so you have one neat and tidy package. Seal the white envelope marked with a B and post your postal vote back to the council. Please do not put any postal votes in the council's post box at the front of the building. Please complete and post your postal vote pack back by Royal Mail as soon as possible. You can still hand in your postal vote to the council offices or your polling station, but you will need to complete a form with the receiving officer. Changes to the law mean any postal vote not returned via raw mail must be accompanied by a return form. We must reject any postal votes which are hand delivered without the form being completed. There have been some delays to the postal service recently, so we would encourage you to complete and return your postal vote as soon as possible once it comes through your door. Some important things to remember. If you need to deliver your completed postal vote in person, either to your local polling station or the council offices, you now need to complete a postal vote return form too. If you fail to do this, your hand-delivered postal vote will be rejected. You may hand in someone else's postal vote, but one person can only hand in a maximum of five postal votes on behalf of others, and you will still need to complete a postal vote return form. 